hotel, getting things done, getting certified and all these things and getting all this great stuff done. She just finished up with her master's degree, so she's a licensed, you know, she's working on licensure now. She is a clinical psychologist, so I have in-house counseling and therapy sessions. I don't need to go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right, okay, this is Mark Cosby, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for the fourth, yes, the fourth episode of Living the Law of Attraction with me, your host. Uh, today is Tuesday, August 27th. I hope everyone's having a great day, like I said. I uh, got a lot of information to pass today, and I'm going to implement some new things in this show today. Um, if, you, if you're paying attention, the close attention, the third show, I actually did something that was unique to the uh, first two shows. And I know it's only four shows. A lot of people say that, but see, when you're into something like this and when you're on this journey, you, you're always and you're constantly evolving, see. And, you know, just like uh, Daryl Johnson, when he gets here, uh, the CEO, he's all, always out doing CEO stuff. Again, when you're on this journey and you got stuff that you love and you're passionate about, there is always, always work to be done. It never stops. So be prepared for that. And you're going to need the energy to be able to do those things and deal with that in those things that come up, those situations that arise or crises a lot of times uh, that, that happens when you're on this journey and when you're an entrepreneur and, and doing great things. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, just be prepared for that. And uh, on, at, on this show and this, this following, this law, law of Attraction and Lifestyle, lifestyle Changing uh, following and journey that you're on, is going to require you to be operating at your best at all times if possible. That means getting proper rest, proper nutrition, proper uh, uh, guidance, proper mentorship, proper coaching, proper uh, whatever it is you need to help you uh, prepare, propel you. That's a good word to propel you on this journey further and faster and, and you know and quicker than you've ever dreamed possible. You have to it have to. Things have to be in line. It has to be layers of things. You know, you know, layers. What I mean by you have your affirmations. You have your your uh, your giving side of your house. You have your your donation side of the house. You have your happy side of the house. You have all those layers upon layers that are attracting even more of those great things into your life. See, that's the key. The feeling that you attach with a, an, an an event or a circumstance or an outcome is going to bring more of that same experience, outcome, and and uh, gratitude towards you. You're like a mag we're magnets, basically. We're, we're, sing we're signals and we're receivers. We're magnets. We attract things, good or bad. It depends on what your mindset is. See, if you're always a positive mindset person, you're going to attract majority and more positive stuff than bad stuff. And more great things are going to happen to you uh, in regards to that as opposed to more uh, things that are not so good happening for you. You know what I mean? But again, when you're on this journey, and one of the things I always say is like a strong, positive mind has no known en enemy. So even when you face circumstances that aren't to your desire or, or what you desire to happen, you you know this page and, and along with the things you discover about yourself on this journey is going to prepare you mentally to deal with anything that comes your way, any news that comes your way, anything that befalls you. So keep that in mind and know that it's always help. All right, that's my opening, and that was a lengthy one. I apologize about that, but hey, that's what it is. So today's topics are, the benefits of oil pulling, you're going to really like this. I like to the term these are called life hacks. You know, there's going to be a series of life hacks throughout this show and through upcoming uh, episodes of the show, so be prepared for those life hacks. So just t right on your top of your, your paper, this uh, first uh, topic we're going to talk about is, is called a life hack. Write that up there. And the second part of the uh, segment of the show, we're going to talk about the power of words. Yes, words, the power of words. Words are living, breathing enigmatic, electrified, currency field, current field entities, each and of themselves. They have the power to destroy and have the power to create. So uh, at the top of, um, at the very first, probably the second, I think second episode of the show, I talked about there are, you know, there's only three things that you as a person need to manage while you're on this journey and while you're on this evolution or this transformation to becoming a better you, a better version of yourself. And that is you watch your thoughts, you watch your words, and you watch your actions. Just three simple things. If you can master those three simple things, you will see a significant difference in your life. You'll see a significant difference in being able to impact other people's lives around you. And again, on this journey, that's what it's all about. You want to extend your experiences, great experiences, uh, um, uh, outcomes, and realities while you're on this journey. 
And better yet, you want to see the smile on other people's faces that are around you when you do something for them that they can stand their experiences and lifestyles and, and their realities on this, on this journey as well. So that's what it's all about. We're talking about legacy stuff here. This stuff has been on, going on for centuries. So it was here before us, and it'll be here after we're gone in this context of this format. So having said that, let's go ahead and get right into it. I got my notes here. I'm going to open up my notes here. Let me get in here. All right. The benefits of oil pulling. Let's go ahead and find that. So this is a, a life hack. You pretty much, and you're gonna you're gonna fire your dentist once uh, you get this information. Uh, pretty much, your dentist is gonna be like, "Well, what's going on? Why why am I um why or why am I not seeing you as much?" Or you get a report like, "Hey, you have a great uh great a great dental checkup." That's one benefit of it. So I'm having technical difficulties pulling my notes up here. Uh, let me get on the. Uh, so you, you're going to realize that, man, this is this is something that has really, really become a situation that uh, a lot of people are going to. Once they get this information, they're going to be like, wow, how, how, how come I never thought of this before? Or, how, or why haven't I heard of this before? It, it's not new. It's, it's been around for uh, ages. And people are just, uh, you see, you got to read. See, well, the more you read, the more you're going to, um, the more you're going to become better and the more you're going to be able to help other people out. You have got to read. I was telling my steps on a couple of days ago, Maddox, you guys saw him. He was on the show, uh, the, the second show, I believe. Yeah, the second show. And I was telling him, I said, you have to read every single day, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. You have to read every single day because that's how you're going to become better. I said, this is, this is a journey. I said, you may not understand what I'm talking about now, but this is a, it's not a sprint. It's not a hundred yard dash to get to see who the best person there is. It's a marathon, a lifelong marathon until, until you get to the best person. You never, here's the thing, here's some bad news for you people. And I'm not a bearer of bad news, but this may, you may take it this way, but it's certainly not attended this way. But you will never become your greatest person ever. Let that sink in for a second. You will never become the greatest person you ever you want to become. Why, you ask me, right? Why? It's because there is always, always, always something to improve upon. There's always something new to learn. There's always something uh, uh, better to give. There's always more of you to give. So don't take that as a, 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 a bad thought. That is a, a call to action, actually. So, again, you, this is a lifelong journey. And if you wake up one morning and say, hey, there's, uh, I've learned everything I need to know. That's it. I don't need to no, no, learn anything else. I'm done. Then that's the day you stop growing. That's the day you stop coming better. That's the day you become uh, complacent. That's the day you become latent. And, you know, there's two types of energy when you're dealing with us, uh, this, this human race here. It's potential energy and kinetic energy. You know, once you get to the point to where you don't think you know, or you, you don't need to know anything or learn any new skills or new trades or anything like that, you just become potential energy. You know, when you're out there doing things and, and giving of yourself and making this society and your, your neighborhood and your community and your city and your town and your state and your nation better, that's potential. And I mean, that's kinetic energy. And you're out there doing it and you make it happen and see what's c contagious about kinetic energy. Other people see that energy and they feed off of it and they, too, get involved in something, not necessarily something that you created, but they may get to, hey, well, if Mark can do it, I can do it. And that's exactly it. That's the whole premise behind this whole thing. See, we have a tendency of making it so complex and so uh, uh, so many moving parts. We just make it complex and make it complicated in this big, huge uh, machine. And it's really not, man. This is so simple. And that's why a lot of people aren't getting it and getting involved in it or don't believe it's true. It's because they, they, they don't realize how simple it is. Like I said, master those three things, your thoughts, your words, and your actions, and you can, you baby, have any and everything you want on this planet. I'm telling you, I'm here to tell you guys, if you don't believe me, you know, just try it. Just try it for 30 days. Just try changing your mindset and your thought process for 30 days, and then tell me what you think. All right. Okay. All right. Let's, it's just a minute for It's time to go pay some bills. And again, I got a sidetrack. When we come back at the top of the, uh, the show, at the top of the break, we're going to talk about the six benefits of oil pulling.
Been in a car crash? Call Ricky. Don't know what to do? Ask Ricky. We will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries. Call Ricky at 844-361-7425. After an auto accident, you have 14 days to seek medical attention. You may be in pain. So call Ricky. Ask Ricky for your best options. 844-361-7425. Call Ricky. Ask Ricky is a legal and medical referral service. The lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals. This is Linda Archie with Taiyu Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month, beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me, 1-888-991-2502. CRA in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. In Touch Radio, where you can listen to a cruising flow of smooth soul and jazz. Today's R&B, a fun touch of hip-hop and gospel. All my music on one station. Giving you a buffet of music, news, and entertainment. We're In Touch Radio. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, Poker Haters. Let's go ahead and finish talking about the six benefits of oil pulling. At the top of the show, I mentioned that I am going to implement something new in the uh, program in, in this in-between segment. So we're going to do that. I'm going to tell people what it is um, right now. Last last show, last live show I did, I actually did it. So I said an affirmation at the at the beginning of the, uh, at the end of the break before we got into the segment. So here it is. That's what it's going to be from now on. We go, I'm going to provide you with an affirmation uh, at the be in, at the at the end of the break before we start the next segment. And you can use these affirmations night and day, 24/7. Uh, we recommend, or I recommend, and all the other gurus recommend doing these affirmations uh, for at least 20 days, 30 days better. The more you do something, the more it becomes routine and habit, and then more your subconscious starts working towards that for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on that one. The first one is, I deserve money. I deserve money. I deserve money. Fill that with as much emotion and much uh, happy feelings and thoughts and what you can do with that money as you possibly can. At first, it's going to seem awkward, but you're going to get used to it. Trust me, believe me. I'm telling you, it's going to work. The second one, it is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. Again, infuse that with massive amounts of energy, massive amounts of positive energy and emotion, happiness, feelings, thoughts, what you can do with when you become wealthy and when you become rich, people you're going to help out. Because you're born into a rich universe. You're born into on this rich planet. This planet is amazing. This planet has everything on it that we need to succeed and live. And everything on the planet is working too. See that you succeed and, and live. It's amazing. If you don't believe me, you know, you better start doing your research and reading. I'm going to tell you it's true. And there it is. Okay, so those two affirmations, you're going to use those. Again, use them for a minimum of 21 days, but we recommend going 30 or more until it becomes part of your habit. And let me tell you, when you notice a difference, you're going to be like, oh, my God, this stuff is real. This stuff is real and it works, guys. I'm telling you, you got to work. All right, let's talk about the six benefits of oil pulling. So oil pulling. You know, like I said, this is a life hack. You're going to fire your dentist, or you're going to see your dentist less frequently than you're seeing them now, if you've been seeing a dentist. Some people probably haven't even seen a dentist. Some people are probably already on this stuff and um, and, and doing this on a regular basis. Um, but for, the, for the, the, uh, the majority of the people that I talk to about this, they have no idea about it. So uh, that's why I'm here to enlighten and pass information to people. I try to do that every single day. And this is, uh, I figured out this is probably my purpose on this planet is to pass information along. So... I don't get it, but I'm doing. I love doing it. So you want to use raw extra virgin coconut oil. Okay, you see it. You, you go in your uh, all, uh, section where you, you find uh, olive oil and all that stuff. And you just find it. it's usually in a glass jar, and you see it looks like it looks like uh, white lard. If people grew up in the south or people wherever you're from, if, you, if your mom and dad cooked a lot of fried a lot of fish fries and things like that. You know the stuff called it's called lard, but it looks just like that. But trust me, it's not. It's so much better than for you than lard. So you want to grab that. It's in the glass, and like I said, it's it's clear white. Now don't panic. Now at room temperature, when you get home and your house is warm, is gonna is gonna dissolve down to a, a liquid form, and it's gonna be clear. So it's okay. 
But just know it's going to be when it's in it, it's 75 degrees or cooler, it's going to be white and it's going to be like almost like a, um, uh, like I said, a lard, like a, a consistency of a, like a, a, a ice cream, I guess, if you will. So that's what you want to get. And you want to, um, you want to use this stuff is for, again, 30 days at the most, at the least. I'm just do it for 30 days, and some of the benefits are going to be amazing. Now, the first benefit, or not in any type of order, but it, there's the six I've decided to talk about today are these. The first one is you want to notice it's going to, it's going to uh, kill harmful bacteria in your mouth. Well, you won't notice it, but you will, you, your mouth will feel better. Only way you can um, detect how much bacteria and what type of bacteria you have in your mouth is do a, a saliva test, but you don't have... You don't have to do that at home. Uh, it is not recommended, or you don't have to worry about doing it. Again, consult your physicians uh, if you, you, uh, before you do any of these type of uh, dietary things. Uh, like I said, I'm not a nutritionist or a doctor, but I've been around. I've done enough reading to know what's good and what's bad. You know, uh, I'm pretty healthy, I like to think, and, and that's because I think I'm well-read, and I try to implement things in my life as well. So it reduces the amount of harmful bacteria that's in your mouth. So everything around us is, is, is just toxins and bacteria and viruses all around us at every given second. We're being totally bombarded by this. The common cold is a virus. You know, meningitis is a virus. Meningitis is a bacteria. There's two types of meningitis, if you didn't know that, bacterial and viral. So all that stuff's around us. Common cold, flu, dust, dust mites, pet dander, all that is around. And it's constantly going inside your body because we have to breathe through our mouth and nose and all that stuff in the ears. So... The mouth is a very, a very dirty place and it's full of bacteria. But it, a study was completed, a study was done uh, with uh, two sets of kids. It was 20 kids all together. 10 kids did um, regular swishing with water and 10 kids did regular uh, swishing with uh, coconut oil. And they were doing what's called oil pulling. After, after 10 days, oh, they were, I'm sorry, they were doing it for 10 minutes each, each day. After about 10 days, the kids that were using the coconut oil, they're Bacteria rates went down, levels went down, their, everything went down, their, their teeth started looking better, uh, their mouth felt healthy and all that after 10 days. While the kids did, did water, it was a small amount of, uh, 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 what can I say, small amount of eradication of the bacteria in the mouth, but it wasn't as significant as it was with the, with the coconut oil. So, and then, you know, Another 60 participants did the same thing. It was 60 this time. It was the adults. They did the same thing, and both, uh, both were, one was using mouthwash and one was using oil pulling. Of course, mouthwash over water significantly reduced the amount of bacteria. And then further, um, still, the coconut oil on, doing the oil pulling won out completely, completely. So that was a great thing. Um, so number two, the second benefit is could reduce bad breath. We've all smelled uh, uh, people with bad breath. We've all, we have friends with bad breath. We have family members with bad breath. And that's, you know, it's nothing against them. It's just they don't know how to treat that bad breath. And, you know, if some of the terms used as hot breath, dragon breath, and things like that, you know, it's really not, you know, I'm not saying it to slight anybody, but, you know, bad breath is bad breath. And, and the name of that condition is called halitosis. Uh, when people have chronic halitosis, it's because they, ha- they're, 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 they, they may be the medications they're taking. They may have a uh, type of infection going on in their mouth. They may have, but it's definitely a lot of bacteria going on in their mouth. And they, they, their oral hygiene may not be up to standards uh, or, or to your standards or whatever. But everyone should be brushing their teeth at least twice a day and flossing at least twice a day and, you know, I guess, rinsing in between. But um, you definitely want to start incorporating this coconut oil into your regimen uh, today. Uh, seriously, because, you know, oral, oral care is linked to cardiovascular disease and it's also linked to other various parts because, like I said, the poison is in your body and it's going through your mouth and it's getting through your bloodstream. You know, the mucosal line inside your mouth is only one cell thick. You know, if you, if you run your tongue around your, your inside of your lips, you can, your mouth, you can feel the difference. That's the same, this same tissue is inside your mouth, runs all the way through your body, all the way out to your rectum, to your anus, and that's what's called, um, it's called the alimentary system. So that's what that is. So that's, it's the same type of tissue all the way through. It's called mucosal tissue. So you, you want to definitely do that. So, again, it could reduce bad breath and a type of, uh, type of uh, uh, bacteria that's in your breath, too, that causes bad breath. Uh, uh, a lot of people have breath, bad breath and don't even know it, and, but it's something that you can talk to them about seriously on the side and uh, do that. So uh, there was another study done with 20 children. Um, they, they rinsed with uh, chlorhexidine to... to uh, Chlorhexidine is another one of those things we use in the hospital that we, we can use to clean skin and we can use to use clean inside of your mouth. Uh, so they, well, they f- switched with that. And again, the numbers compared to the coconut oil were significantly 
different than when they were doing the chlorhexidine. Granted, it was a next level of care that they, they did from water to mouthwash to the chlorhexidine. So the numbers dropped significantly, but still, the coconut oil and the oil pulling with the coconut oil was the clear winner again in that study. Again, now we're talking about getting to the dental part of this uh, lecture. It, it can help prevent cavities. It helps pre prevent cavities. The people still say, no, yeah, and nay on that, but see, then too, you got to realize who your source of information is coming from, who's uh, debuking this stuff. The people that are saying, yeah, or nay, it could be the Dental Association because they want to see you, the American Dentals, the ADA, they want to see you coming to them more on your regular checkups, which I'm saying you shouldn't. You should. I'm not saying don't do your checkups, but you're going to notice each time you go to your checkup after implementing this life hack here that you're, you, you're going to see a reduction in everything. You're going to see a reduction in plaque. You're going to see a reduction in cavities for your kids if you get your kids on it. Your, your teeth are going to become wider. Because to what it does, it also it takes off the surface stains of, of your teeth uh, from people to drink a lot of tea and coffee and red wine. So that's another benefit of it. So it may, for instance, so poor hygiene, eating too much sugar and a buildup of bacteria can cause can all cause tooth, tooth decay, which leads to the formation of holes in the teeth known as cavities. So again, especially if you eat some sugary, hard sugar candy, soft sugar candy, you definitely want to brush your teeth and rinse your teeth after eating that, or even you know, just cut back on any candy altogether because it's really not good for you. But some people need to have candy, I guess. Uh, so plaque also causes cavities. So that's why this oil pulling, it reduces the amount of plaque that's also um, being ingested. Um, I mean, that is being that's grown on your teeth. Uh, gum inflammation, known as gingivitis, is going to reduce the amount of inflammation and inflammatory response that your gums have due to gingivitis. See, gingivitis is, is a naturally decaying type of gum disease that's your, gum, your, your gums are swollen, they're red, and they start receding back um, up on your teeth. So, and, you, and what, what you want with your gum, your gum should be flat and lying right, right against the top of your teeth, no openings and no gaps in between that. So you definitely want to make sure you are um, uh, taking care of the, um, the, uh, this issue. It'll definitely, it'll definitely address gingivitis. And the other thing about gingivitis is when you're brushing your teeth, you, your teeth will start bleeding, you spit in the sink, and you see that bright red blood. You know, no, lead, no need to alarm and panic because you're not going to die from it unless it's you know, gallons of blood you, you are spitting out, but I doubt that happens. Um, uh, and, and dental pain, people, if you know, if, and I know you, everyone knows this, dental pain will wake you up out of a dead sleep. You don't ever want to experience dental pain. I, I, for a man, I guess that's the closest you can get to having uh, birth pains or what's, I don't know. But dental pain is some pretty intense pain, especially if you got holes in your teeth down to, to the uh, nerve. I've been there, done that before I got on this journey. My, um, I'm here to tell you, before I got on this journey, before I discovered oil pulling, my teeth were wrecked. I mean, I had cavities and, uh, you know, I had fillings and things like that, fillings that were falling out. Um, go to the dentist now, and, uh, you know, I've had, I had those teeth extracted too because I did, I'm not a big fan of root canals, but I've had some extractions as well. But since then, my teeth have been perfect since I've been on this journey with, with the oil pulling and things like that. I go to my checkups, I go, wow, your teeth, look, your teeth look great. What are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm doing oil pulling. Oh, yeah, I've, you know, I've read, about, I've read up on that in school. That's what one of the dentists had told me when I, I told them about that. And so that's it. You, you know, you, 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 you want to reduce the, uh, the amount of information that's going to your body and the amount of germs that's going to your body. And, and, and having a good oral hygiene is one of those ways you can do that. Like I said, poor oral health is linked directly to, uh, to uh, heart issues. And definitely do some reading up on that and if you want further information on that. Um, other benefits. This is number five. And we only got one more to go after this. I think we're going to get to this before we get, cover our uh, second break. But some of the other benefits of uh, oil pulling, and by all means, before you um, start your oil pulling, you want to take a little bit of water in your mouth, switch it around. That's going to activate your salivary glands. See, your salivary glands are important in this thing, too, because salivary glands are a part that helps digest your food, and they, they secrete the, 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 the liquid, uh, the saliva that's in your mouth. And, you know, the digestion of your food starts as soon as you put it in your mouth and start chewing between the, at, between the saliva and the teeth. So the, it's called mastication. When you're chewing something, it's called mastication. So when you're masticating and you, 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 you're chewing your food, your saliva again, salivary glands are kicking in and starting to digest the food. So that's why you always want to make sure you brush after you eat. Now, some of the other benefits of it is that it is the cheapest, most economical way to detox your system. Wow. Yes. This is a detox as well. See? Okay, and I've, I got you on the hook, so we'll come back after the break where we'll go over the, some affirmations again and we'll finish up with these benefits of oil pulling. Hi, 
everybody. I'm Donald L. Dowridge Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. You got up this morning. You got up this morning. Eyes sneaking open as the feet hit the floor. Got to thank God for the rise this day. The stove perking the smell of nutrition. Get to your destination with planned unselfish acts. Bulletin board read, do you have any to spare? Happiness and understanding. We all have experienced that one phone call. Family member, co-worker, friend has passed on. We don't know our last evening or morning. Get up. Help someone out. Now walk it out. You got up this morning. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. You can reach out to DLD at DLD28002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. Hey, this is A.J. Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some. And get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. When it comes to reality radio, Everyone is a star. Shining star for you to see what your life can truly be. On your smooth soul and R&B station. On the World Wide Web. In Touch Radio. In the studio I have with me now, Daryl Johnson, CEO. What's up? Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Sir, we are always glad that you can join us in the studio because we just went to the next level right here on the show right you, now. You know what? I heard you going to uh, uh, to the level of the mouth, and uh, I heard you talking about people's bad breath. Uh, you you didn't call my name, but I, I don't know why I felt like you know you were talking about me. I was like, man, you know, I noticed him last you know last time we were around. You know, he kept turning his head, you know, <laughs> kind of holding his nose a little bit. And I was thinking to myself, man, is my breath smelling that bad? <laughs> no, brother, no way. Not you at sure? All. You sure? Yeah, no, man. No, you, no, you can be honest with me. It would, it would be me before it, you. <laughs> you know. You could be honest, man. Just tell me no, the truth no, right now in front no, of the whole. No, no ladies and gentlemen, it's not. Creators, it's not Daryl. Okay, it's not Daryl. It's not me. It's so, not Esteban. It's not anyone in this room. So why is my <laughs> wife saying, "Baby, you know, you need to do something with your breath"? <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's, she would know, right? <laughs> she, would know. she spends more time with it than many of us do. So. Listen, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. Please. All right. So I burned my finger this morning. Okay. Uh, getting. Um, wow. These. Okay. All right. Uh, so. You, so. And yeah. 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 You let me. You know. <laughs> so let me. Let me mute my phone. I, I burned my finger this morning pulling a, a, a pan out of the oven, uh-huh. and so the mitt that I had on had a hole in it, mm. so it burned this little finger. Mm. And of course, you know, I was cussing and fussing all of that uh, <laughs> when I put that pan down. Right. Um, but what do you recommend? Uh, and I know this is not a you know a healing show, <laughs> but you you may have something uh, for burns. What do you think? Is there anything? First thing you want to do, you know, it's a thermal burn, obviously. Okay. First thing you want to do is you want to put it on the cold water, let it run on the cold water. Because see, what's happening at that point is that your your body is, is sending out these fighters, these these white blood cells, to okay, like cool the area down. Okay, so it's coming from internal. It's coming from ninety eight degrees source. It's coming okay. from inside your body. Okay, so, coupled with that with the heat of the, the, the iron that you touch, you burn it for ninety eight degrees, raise the temperature. So you want to immediately put it on the cold water, and, and, and if you get that cold water ice. But the medication that you want to use is a silvadine cream is a medication. Okay. And uh, this, you know, this this is a healing show, brother. You, okay, you said, okay, you said, okay. Like it's said, a healing like show. I, said, I always segue, but I'm not a doctor or I'm not a dietitian, but I've been around the medical field all my adult life, and I've read so much and been done so many things. And the plant you want to use, the natural-based plant you want to use is an aloe vera plant. Aloe vera. You know what? I have that at home. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, I sir. didn't think to use the aloe vera, but I yep. got it growing all over the place. Yep. Oh, yeah. uh, but I did do the running water uh-huh. yeah. and uh, on the way here i put got me a cup of ice and yeah. put my finger in yeah. ice yeah. Yeah. um and so it's, it's been out of ice just a few minutes okay. you know so it's still like 
I can still you feel can the feel burn, it. but it's burn. Yeah. nowhere yeah. near as yeah. as bad as it yeah. was uh, initially. Oh, initially, yeah. Yeah. Now the now the uh, plant based medication you want to take for that, or the plant based supplement you want to take for that is uh, turmeric. You want to take it to America. I right? have that as well. There you go. I even yeah. sprinkled a little bit of that in my coffee in the yeah, morning. Yeah, man. It, I'm telling you, it's, it's a powerful thing. People just don't realize that it is all here on the, like I was talking about before the break, it is all here on the planet for us. Everything on the planet. Everything. You know, you know uh, th- there's a young lady, uh, uh, um, uh, what's her name? Doggone it. Well, she uses a phrase called um, Antonia, mm. which says it's a, it's a, it's a um, what's the word? It's a, uh, you know. It's an acronym. acronym. Okay. It stands for all that I need, I already have. Yeah. And so there are so many yeah. home remedies that we have yeah. uh, that we don't use. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. It, it's right there in your medicine yeah. cabinet. Yeah. You know, it's it's what grandma always told you yeah. that you needed to use. Yeah. And those things still work today. They still work today. Yeah. yeah. And I heard you talk about, you know, the medical industry not wanting mm-hmm. you to know certain the yeah. dental uh, association, yeah. and you know, and, and I understand it because they're they're going after the the buck, right, right. But some people uh, they can't afford some of some these uh, remedies. Afford, yeah, some people yeah. can't afford a dentist. Some people can't. But this is like I said, this is one of those life hacks that can that can help you keep your teeth at a certain level, your oral yes. hygiene at a certain level. So you won't have to worry about going to see them that much, and you know what I mean. Because you, I mean, if you have small cavities, yeah, you can you can live with small cavities in, in your teeth, you know. But they get huge and they get big enough, then it burn goes down to the nerves. Now, see, once that nerve pain comes in, that's, that's a whole nother story. Boy, let me tell you, I, I have. I'm a coffee drinker, uh-huh. so I'm going to try it. Try it. Try thirty it. days. 30 so days, so yeah. after the thirty days, then it should just be what kind of a routine? Yeah, well, I would go like once or twice a week. Okay, you know, but you want to initially get that Thursday, and then number six, number five, oh, number yeah, number five here on the on the uh, the, the topics of oil pulling is going to really really give you credence to why you should do it, you know, often more often than not. Okay, go go ahead. Days. What's okay. number five? Okay, but let's go ahead and go back to our, we're going to start off with our affirmations too, because at the end, at the beginning of, at the end of each break we're going to do an affirmation. Okay, so you can get this down All right. in the subconscious, and then they can have this working for them too. See, okay, like I just described earlier in the show. Um, uh, it's, this, this this journey you're on is, is layers and layers of things you got to do to keep it coming in from all areas. You okay. Know, spiritually, physically, you know, what you eat, all that. What you eat is what you're going to put out. Mm-hmm. So here you go. I deserve money. 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 Yes. Lots of it. Lots of it. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is your birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is your birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my wealthy. birthright to be rich and wealthy. Yes. I didn't hear you over there, Esteban. <laughs> he said he said it in the mind. <laughs> he did. See, whether you say it, and here's the beautiful thing about these affirmations, whether you say it physically, vocal, vocally, or whether you say it mentally, it's energy. It's, it's energy. It's travel. It's going right. to travel. You know, we're signals and receivers of yes. message and information, brother. I'm telling you, we people, we just don't know how powerful we are. We are powerful, man. We're yeah. Powerful. All right, so those are the affirmations, and we recommend people do that. Also, I deserve money. Days. You deserve money. You deserve money. You deserve money. You know what I mean? All right, number six. Let's get back into this. All right. We're talking about the benefits of, I'm sorry, number five, the benefits of oil pulling. You know, at the t- at the break, what we talked about was that uh, this 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 number one, this number one, I, I, it should be ranked number one, mm-hmm. is the one that's going to really benefit you the most. And and it, like I said, it is the most cheapest and most economical way to do a cleansing or a okay. detox. So you know, you have these seven day detox, you know, the seven day system flush. You have these fourteen days, twenty one days, three days. This you can do, like I said, for the first 30 days, this is going to draw all the toxins out of your, your mouth and your head and neck area. Because, you know, you underneath your skin, you don't see it here. You know, you, you, sometimes you, you have mumps. You know, mumps are nothing yeah. more than your uh, lymph node glands. You know, that's swelling. Swelling. That's swelling, yeah. Okay. So you have a chain of lymph nodes that run all around your neck, your ears, behind your ears, behind your neck, all the way down. So, you know, when you're at the dentist, and, dentist when you're at the doctor's office getting your physical and they're, they're filling mm-hmm. around here, mm-hmm. they're filling for lymph nodes. Okay. Now, see, lymph nodes, they, they, it's part of the lymphatic system. What they do is they drain all the poisons and toxins out of your body. This is where the, the, the uh, oil pulling and the coconut oil swishing comes in handy because it does it on another level. It brings it to the next level up. Okay. When you get that in your mouth swishing it around for uh, 10 to 15 minutes, you know, I recommend, we recommend starting at five minutes a day just because it's new. To yeah, because that's a long concept. time. You know, it's, 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 it's hard for me to just keep uh, yeah. Listerine in my mouth yeah. for like 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, Listerine to burn your life. Well, I'm yeah, you. that, that's. <laughs> Here's the thing about the coconut oil and oil pulling. No burning. No burning. No burning. And you're going to notice that, you know, like I said, 
Start off, you rent your mouth first to get your salivary glands activated. Then you go in with your, your uh, tablespoon of oil, uh, coconut oil. Okay, now stop right there. Okay. So I heard, you, I, mentioned, I heard you mention something about lard. So we, right. we, we keep this big thing of coconut oil, mm -hmm. and it's it, it looks like lard. It looks like lard. Uh, yeah. So you saying spoon that out. Spoon it out, one tablespoon. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Let it melt. Let it melt. Based on your body temperature. Yep, yep. And, and and then swish it around. Swish it around. You're gonna just like you're doing like, like you're doing with a mouthwash, you're gonna swish it back and forth. Okay. You know, when, when when you first start out, a lot of people may not like the taste, so that's why you say start off for five, just five minutes. Set mm -hmm. your timer on your phone or your microwave for five minutes mm -hmm. and you know, let your spouse and your significant other know, hey, I got this stuff in my mouth, I can't talk right now, I'm not being a jerk, I'm not mm -hmm. being rude. You know, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to see what's gonna happen with this. I thing. used to take a teaspoon of, of coconut oil. Yeah, you can ingest I it. I just too. swallow it. Yeah, you can do it too. Yeah, you can do it too. But now here's the, here's the thing. When you're all pulling now, don't swallow that. Don't so, swallow right, that. Don't swallow it because that's all the toxins. And all. You're pulling all the toxins out of your teeth, okay. all the bacteria, all the okay. plaque, all the stuff that's being drawn out of your teeth and out of your, your gums, underneath your gums. So we talked oh, about okay. gingivitis before the, the break. Yeah. And gingivitis is nasty. You know, gingivitis, you know, your gums are red and swollen and receding back in your teeth. Okay. And then it's just nasty. And you get food up in there and it's, it's another problem. And then bacteria loves the teeth. Like I said, the mouth is a the dirtiest part of the body. Gotcha. Because it's, we breathe through our mouth. We eat, we, everything comes from here. Wait a minute. You, you're not telling me that my anus is cleaner than my mouth. That's, that's not what you're saying, no, right? No, I'm not saying that. No, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. definitely not. That's, 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 that's waste. That's all, that's all waste. Okay, you, can't, right, you, can't, right. you can't eat that way. Right. There's always, you know, at least, you know, this, this, you know, you throw up sometimes too. That's waste, I guess. But yeah, once you get past the stomach here, yeah. there's no coming back. <laughs> no, no U-turns, baby. Okay. You need to go on to go out the other, other side of the house on that one. Okay. You know? So that's it. So now the next one here, we talk about that. And like I said, we talked about the benefits of it. And like I said, it's a, the cheapest, most economical way to do a uh, uh, detox. You know, you got, you know, that's tons of detox out now. So are you just, are you telling me you can detox from the mouth uh, and nowhere else? So, in other words, you, people think of detox. They're thinking about taking some substance, mm -hmm. cleaning their insides mm -hmm. out, mm -hmm. you know, and then letting it go. Right. So, you're saying that oil pulling is just as effective. Just as effective. Just as effective. You don't have to go through the 7-day, the 14-day, or 21-day refresh or whatever, or the detox. You can do this every single day because, it's, especially after that initial 30 days, you uh -huh. know, you're gonna be squeaky clean, you know what I mean? So, so wait, so wait now, Mark. This is this is this is uh, uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. um, if 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 I'm swishing around in my mouth for 30 days, then you're telling me that it's not only cleaning uh, my my mouth diseases or, mm -hmm. or, or whatever is mm -hmm. is there, but it's also going throughout the rest of my body, it's, detoxing it's, me. It's cleaning your lymphatic system. It's keeping it's bringing down the amount that's in the rest of your body as well. See, and then, then too, see, here's how, here's how it all ties in. Okay. When you on that clean diet, when you're on that, that plant-based diet, uh -huh. you know, you, like I'm saying, I'm not saying don't say, no, totally do it with meat. Eat your meat, but do it in moderation. Okay. But you're going you're gonna to increase the amount of water. You're going to increase the amount of uh, fiber, vegetables, fruits, nuts, grains, and all that uh, into your body. Whole foods, ancient grains. Okay. We're going to talk about some ancient grains on another show. Okay. That's a very interesting topic. So if you want to do some pre-research on that, you can start doing that. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Now, here's the, don't get me wrong when I say this now. This is doing the lymphatic system, which is all connected. But when you do the deeper cleanses, you, they include the lungs, they include the uh, intestines, they include all those other systems as well, blood as well. Okay. So, But this is just as effective. Wow. But uh, not on a larger scale as the other ones, you know what I mean? Because the other ones are multi-system. This is mostly... So your lymphatic, you said it goes all around all your around. face and mouth. Yep. So so Next, it yeah. will start to clean here all, first. All that, yeah, exactly. And then it'll spread throughout the rest it of the body? It's pulling the rest out through the butt, rest of the body. Wow. That's how, I'm telling you, that's how amazing. You know, people always talk about cars and buildings and, and uh, skyscrapers, extreme engineer. We humans are the most extremely engineered creation on this planet. Wow. Amazing. The, yeah. the, the body can the body is so resilient. You know, here's the thing. You, the body is so resilient. You can have 10 people walk off a four-story building. You know, two may die. One may suffer a broken leg. One may be in a coma. You know, then one may get up and have nothing. You know what I mean? Right. Some very minimal damage. Right, you know I mean? right, right, That's right. That's just how the range is when it comes to human body and how, how complex we are. Okay. But, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, so. Don't try that at home. Don't try that at home, please. <laughs> <laughs> Consult your physician always. Like I said, any of these dietary programs, any tricks? No, I'm not joking. But, uh, yeah, don't don't try that, please. Uh, but, but yeah, we are extremely engineered. All right, let's go ahead and talk to you about the last topic and wrap it up because I know our clock is uh, oh, it's time for another break. Well, time hey, flies when you're having fun. Time flies. <laughs> you, you, see, I was not part of the equation. So you, it, had I not been here, you probably could have gotten right through. But, hey, it's all good. Hey, it's all good. It's all, it all good. It's all good. All right.
Yeah, see, here, that's the last one. It's like I said, cheap and easy to add to your routine. Okay. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years. And a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. Smoothing out your favorite R&B flavors. What's your flavor? Tell me what's your flavor. In Touch Radio. Gentlemen, co-creators, welcome back. We are nearing the end of the show, so we're going to blast through. We got 17 minutes left on the show, you know. We're going to blast through the rest of the benefits of this all pulling, and then we're going to get right into the power of words, man, the power of words. Before we be ready for that one. Put the bel- belt your seatbelt for that one. All right, here we go. I deserve money. 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 It is my birthright. To be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is your birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. <laughs> it is gotta, your birthright to be rich and wealthy. You gotta love it, ladies. You, you know they say they say when you do things you love, you're not working. You True. Know I mean? you, know, you don't work. It's not a, you, you haven't worked in how long? Since you retired? Since I retired. <laughs> it's 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 it is. It really thing. is. You know, the, the, and, and let me tell you this, because yes, I, I, I want everybody to know, I feel like, you know, through the law of attraction, I, I attracted Mark here to the radio station because I really wanted a law of attraction okay. show. Because, you know, I, I, I've been looking at a lot of the uh, law of attraction uh, uh, authors and speakers That's and really motivators out here, and I am so glad That's that... Real. In Touch Radio has landed Mark yeah, Cosby. Yeah. We need a round of applause right there, Esteban. Yeah. That's a, yeah, we need a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you, man, for being here. We sincerely yeah, appreciate brother, it. Like I said, thank you. Thank you for saying it, saying it positively. And Absolutely. Thank you, saying it, thank you for saying the talent. And I'm glad to be here because I mean, there's so much information to put out. Yes, so, it is. You know, I'm, I, I'll be regress, uh, I'll be remiss if I don't mention this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. If, uh, if you want to call in and participate, the number is, if you call from out of state, is one 844 444 9855. 9588. 9588. 9588. Man, I got to get it. I right. got it. I got it. That's, that's where I'm here. here that's where I'm here. 444 9588. Man, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. 8813. Right. Here you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and burn through this last two. Again, uh, so again, too, it is easy. Like I said, it's the most economical way to uh, to get get a, a cleansing in your body and get things done. And it's, it's easy to add your routine and it's cheap. You know, the average bottle of coconut oil owns about, what, 5 or $6. It's cheap. And there's so many different brands, uh, but you want to go with the extra virgin uh, coconut oil. Uh, okay. And there's some good stuff, okay? Okay. Uh, you know, oils are essential to your body. There's essential oils you need to take in your body every day, and that's that's one of them. Um, you know, like Daryl said earlier, he he uh, started ingesting it, and you can do that as well. There's even capsules that you can take, ladies and gentlemen, that can help with this. It, it, I mean, it, it keeps your body supple. It keeps your joints lubricated. Now, because you know, as we age, we, we lose this uh, this this acid in your body called hyaluronic acid, and that's the one that provides us cushion and all the stuff between our joints and our bones and things like that. You know, that's what people wake up. They say, oh, "I had to wake up five minutes early so I can get all the, the kinks and and, and, and crumps out True. of my bones." But see, listen, when you're on this journey and you're learning all this new stuff, 
all those things are going to go away, man, with this diet. You're going to incorporate, you know, like I said, you don't have to totally do it with your red meat or your fish or your chicken or whatever. Just do it in moderation. Just, you know, the Asians got it right. You know, they, they, you see, you see, they see very little strips of meat on their plate, but you see tons of vegetables and fruit. And man, they always eat healthy throughout the day. You know, we in a Western society here grew up on this processed food. Yeah. You know, now there's a big war between KFC and uh, Chick-fil-A with this chicken sandwich. Yeah. I'm like, man, you know what? It, it is what it is. If that's what you like, that's what you do. Go ahead and eat it. But, you know, I say we stay away from that because we are on this journey and we want to, you know, be eat, put as many whole holistic uh, natural ingredients uh, in our body as possible. Right, right. right. Like I said at the top of the show, this journey is going to take a lot of energy and you're going to need this energy to keep going on your journey because, the ideas are going to be flooding in. The contacts are going to be coming your way. The uh, engagements are going to be coming your way. People are going to be asking you to come here, do that. You, you're going to become really, really busy when you're on this journey. Okay. And, and you know, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. You know, no it, doubt. It never stops. And you have to have energy to do what this man does. And this, this young man is is a blessed to have great genetics and things like that. So you want to enhance what you're already given. Like I said, the hard part of this stuff is already done. You only need to master three things. Your thoughts, your actions, and your words, man. Simple as that. And it's a really, really simple uh, routine to do. All right, so that's the that's it on the oil pulling, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the next topic: of the power of words and the power of words. Can you recap the six? Yes, let's recap the six right now. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Keep me on task. I love it. You know, <laughs> he has a passion to see this show succeed. He, he has a passion, and so does his wife, Tampa Bay Tammy. They have a passion to see this this whole organization succeed. And Absolutely. You know what? The second, the minute. The hour they said, let's do this, it was already a success, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I received that. <laughs> For real. All right, so here we go. The top six benefits of oil pulling. What are the top six that we decided to choose on? The benefits are myriad, okay? okay. But the six are kills harmful bacteria in your mouth, reduces uh, bad breath, prevents cavities. It helps prevent cavities. So you fire in your dentist, something. You're going to see your dentist less than you'd already see them, okay? Because they're going to be, hey, well, what are you doing? Reduces inflammation and improves gum health, gingivitis. We don't like gingivitis. And, and the other benefits we talked about, it's a detox. It's a readily available detox, and it's economical, and you can get it started right away. Uh, it's for as little as $5 and $4. Again, you want to do one tablespoon. Um, you want to start off with five minutes at first. You want to you want to take you know, a little bit of water and switch it around to get the salivary glands activated. And you want to do that, for, like I said, five or ten minutes at first, one tablespoon to get used to it. And then once you get used to it, you know, the taste and all that stuff, after a while, you know, you're going to be on cruise control. And once you're on cruise control, that's when the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you. Everything about this journey, once you put it, get these things started, like I said, these affirmations every day and every night before you go to sleep, you know, it's going to be uncomfortable first because it's out of your normal routine. The, you know, the television in my house, I tell you what, I can sit in, at home in, in the living room and read all day, and the television doesn't have to be on because I don't even need mm. television. You know, you get, you know, it's nothing you get to the point where you're gonna start, uh, you're gonna start digesting knowledge that you know is gonna benefit you. You know, um, you know, you're watching the sitcoms and things like that. You're watching people that are already successful, people that are probably already using this stuff to get to where they are. I'm just saying. All right, the power of words. Let's talk about the power of words, ladies and gentlemen. You know, like I talked at the top of the show, words have power, words have energy, words <coughs> are enigmatic, words have their own life, they, own, they have their own uh, uh, power, they can destroy, they can create. And the words you want to be careful about using to, in your lexicon or your language is I can't, I don't, I don't have, I need, I, 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 I hope. You need to get rid of those words because when you're using those words, you're coming from a, a standpoint of lack and uh, scarcity. See, you, you were born into an abundant universe. You were born on an abundant planet. You were born into an abundance of love. You know, your mother and father love you. That's why they created you. You know, energy, love, and vibration. That's what this whole thing, these three things are. This, 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 this construct around us is based off energy, love, and vibration. Water is in that equation. You know, you can't, you can't, like Reverend Ike always says, you can't lose with the stuff, with the stuff he, used. he used. And you, you can't. There's no way. You were born into abundance. Yes. So the words you do want to focus on, you want to work, focus on using words like I am. See, I am is, is, is if, you, if you go into, um, what, what book of the Bible is that? Is that, uh, is it Exodus? I, I'm not sure. I think it's Exodus. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I am that I am. I am that I am. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. I am that I am. Exodus, yeah. The book of Exodus, it talks about the burning bush. And, you know, Moses is asking, you know, you know, who are you? And it says, I am that I am. Those two words 
are the most powerful words in the spoken language in any language on this planet because that's the direct word from God, source, universe, whatever you want to say. You know, we, this, we just didn't happen here. We were created. Yes. And we were created. People say, yo, we came from a fish out of a pond or we evolved from monkeys or whatever. All of it was created. All of it was created by one source. Yes. Okay. So, you know, it depends on what you believe. You want to believe in creationism. You want to believe in uh, uh, evolution. Whatever you want to believe in, just know that you're here for a purpose. Mm -hmm. So, when you use the words "I am," you know, like we talk about these affirmations. You know, you can say, "I am rich," "I am successful," "I am wealthy," "I am generous," "I am vibrant," "I am life," "I am love," "I am that." When you say that, you are you are creating those words of creative, powerful force. And again, you know, when you send these affirmations and you saying the words I am, you want to infuse it with massive amounts of positive energy, emotions. What are you going to do when you get the money in your hand? I don't say if you get the money. I say when you get the money in your hand. What are you going to do when you, you, you look at your, your online, you look at your online bank account and you see those commas uh, behind those, num those numbers? What are you, how are you going to feel? How, how, who are you going to impact? See, those, that's a thought you got to have because you got to have, have the thought that you already have it because you do. So speaking of feeling... Um, <clears throat> if you can imagine how you would feel mm. when you have that money and create that feeling, it will uh, help to attract that money sooner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Through, through that emotion. Yeah, through that emotion. You, you've got to, uh, you've got to uh, uh, create that feeling mm -hmm. of being rich, having money, and then uh, emote that feeling. And then you yeah. can, uh, uh, you 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 will s send out the 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 the, uh, the uh, vibration, vibration <laughs> to bring it back to you. Yep, vibration and frequency. Yes, vibration. Yeah. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's energy. It's energy. It's energy, man. It really is. See how simple it is. It is simple. And people just nuke it out. We have a term in the military, and and I know uh, uh, Seabrook. Uh, the professor, he knows about this. You know, in the military, we had this thing, in the Navy especially, we had this thing. It's a group of guys that work on submarines. They're called nuclear. The nu everybody's on the submarine is a nuclear technician. They're very, very smart, highly intelligent guys. Okay. So we said a thing like, you know, don't nuke this out. You know, we're not building nuclear bombs. <laughs> right, right, right. It's so simple. It's, it's simple. Simple. The three things, like I said, thoughts, words, and action. Yes. You got to just watch. If you master those three things. Yes. You know, like I said, if there's a goal you want to reach, you do 15 minutes a day towards that. Every yeah. single day. And the 15 minutes of energy you match towards that is going to be bringing that goal closer. That goal is coming closer, closer to, to you. you, you and, 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 you know, so, so for those that have a, 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 a biblical perspective, then it's about faith. So if you if you believe it, you can achieve it. Mm -hmm. It's really about faith. Uh, so, you know, you can take it from a biblical perspective, yep. Uh, yep. but we want you to understand uh, from, from this perspective yep. how, how, how you can achieve things uh, through, through the law of attraction. Yep, yep, exactly. I I'm glad you segued in that. See, you know, when, you, when you're dealing with this and you're on this journey and you are, are, are evolving, like I said, we're evolving every single day. Every day. We're evolving to something greater. So basically, you're going to raise the bar. You're going to raise the bar on everything around you. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Daryl just segued into a perfect, and I couldn't ask for a better setup, and he didn't even know we were going to talk about this today. He's just a genius, genius idea. So you're going to raise the bar. See, you can, first you're going to believe that you can make this happen. You're going to believe. See, Daryl believed. Daryl and Tammy believed that this radio and this, this, this uh, think tank, that's what I love it. I love it called yeah. a think tank, could be successful. Mm -hmm. And it is. They believed it first. So once, once you believe it, you're going to achieve it. You're going to make those goals. You're going to file the necessary paperwork. You're, yeah. going, to, you're going to come up with a name. You're yeah. going to come up with the LLCs. That, that, at that point, you're achieving, see? Yes, yes. And then you, the magic happens is when you receive it, see? You're raising the ball. Believe, you achieve, achieve, receive. receive. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah, raising yeah. the ball, baby. So now you're receiving all these people come to the, to the studio. It, 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 again, he's attracting. See, there it is, people, the law of attraction. I was asked to become a guest on another show, and the person invited me to the show had no idea that I was even on. They knew I was a positive-minded person, but right. they didn't know I was. They didn't know I was a law of attraction guru, okay. or a law of attraction practitioner. Yes, yes, they yes. They didn't know that. Okay. See, but the fact that you put the energy out there, you probably didn't even say anything to the person about that you want a person on a show like this. But the energy, man. Yes. The energy go. It permeates. It, it goes. It does. A ripple effect. You throw you throw a rock in a pond. A ripple effect. It will. That's how it is. It's three hundred six degrees. It's all around us. Mm. 
So you raised the bar. Now you're receiving all these people who want to, you know, to come on the show. You're receiving all this great stuff. You're receiving everything that you were attracting. So the bar exam, ladies and gentlemen, you raised the bar. <laughs> the bar exam. <laughs> the bar exam. And in the bar exam, you also met the three sisters, the three Eves. Believe, achieve, receive. <laughs> that that's the in. three E's I like that. that. <laughs> so again, a word. See, when you believe, you, know, you said it first. You said faith over fear. You know, at home on our whiteboard, you know, the, my my wife, she's amazing too. And I had no idea she was on the journey until you know we met and started talking. I was like, wow. Okay. It just happens. So when she has a, in written on the dry race board, faith over fear it has fear drawn out with a zero. You know. The okay. Yeah. 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 Fear. And that's it, man. So the words you want to use, and especially, especially if you got kids around you, man, you want to you want to infuse positive words in those kids, man. Always. Because, you know, we grew up. We grew up imaginary friends. We grew up with a, this great, uh, this great, um, this great um, imagination. Yes. Since we got older, we didn't want our friends to think we were freaky, or we didn't want our friends to think we were weird. Yeah. Like so we, we put it aside a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So now, see, now you can see the benefit of how this can help you. It's okay to be different, man. Embrace your difference. You know what I mean? It, it is. I, and I just you you made me think about you know on on the, the power of words. You made me think about when it comes to children. Mm -hmm. You must be careful what you say to your young child. You can't say you are oh, you so bad. Yeah. You yeah. always you no. you cannot no. say those things nope. Nope. Uh, because those those children will become become that. They will become that. So you have to give them good positive. Yep. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, mantras and yeah. good positive uh, values and yeah. good good positive words. Uh, it it's it's it is by the age of six, your child is going to be pretty much who you raise them to right, be. Right. And if you've given them negative uh, uh, feelings and 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 fed them negative words all their life, then that's that's, that's where they're headed. That's what it, yeah. Words, words can create, words can destroy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, uh, this stuff is real. Get on board with it and don't think it's something that's, you know, it's only for certain certain people. Man, this is for everybody, you know, because at the very first show, you know, we talked about uh, who, was, who it was intended for first. And these people that were even practitioners of it didn't realize how powerful the stuff was. You can't contain this to this one demographic of person. True. This, is, this stuff, where, this is a law. It works for everybody who uses it. The energy you put out is matched. It's just like your 401k or your TSP, man. You you put 20% to it, it's going to 20% going to be matched. Absolutely. And I think we're wrapping up. We're we are wrapping minutes. it up. So let's close out with our affirmations. And I want you guys to get these affirmations in deep down in your subconscious. And You know, I was you know, typing mine in my notes as, please, as you were talking. Please, yep. I deserve money. 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 It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It is my birthright to be rich and wealthy. It's my birthright to be rich and wealthy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking the time out of your busy day for this uh, show today. Please join us again uh, in a couple of weeks with another live show. Um, again, uh, thank you for having me on the show. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You guys, you have been listening to The Law of Attraction by none other than Mark Cosby, our Law of Attraction guru. Yes. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Okay.